So we'll go on to the final division, Dwarfy Stain. Yep, and uh, this is another congratulations. Congratulations to the South London Rebels, who at 8-1 and one in a five-game win streak will be participating in the playoffs this year, for sure. Get um, to 2,000 points as well for the season. So yeah. 2,000 points for the season, which is uh, so really, really good scoring. And uh, well-deserved, 251 points, you know, so done it in style. Uh, beating the Manchester Spinners, okay, only two and seven, but great win, fantastic scoring. And, a uh, good win for Alan, get three wins in a row against the South Carolina Broncos. And puts them right in the right in the um, on the hill for getting into the playoffs. You know, one more and and one more near there. But it's a great. It was a massive win against another team that was sitting at six and two. You know, it's it's South Carolina Broncos are now needing two from five as opposed to three from five. Yeah, as opposed to was. one from five, huge difference, you know. And a great, and a great, a great win for the Turtle Cowboys, five and four, beating a six and two Lancaster Bombers. You're now in a two-game losing streak, which is not good. Yeah, and, and Ross, 156 points. That's uh, yeah. that's a slip you don't want to be having. And Ross is on a four-game win streak, moving up to the fifth spot. So that's a good time to hit some form there for Ross. A hundred percent. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't pick a better time to to have a high-scoring team, but he's getting the wins. So, and that's all that matters at this stage. At this stage, it's all that matters. Massive win for London Eagles as well to get to four and five and keep Dobbo's Darlow Diamonds at four and five. Well, you know that, it, but it keeps London Eagles firmly in the hunt. You know, and it's uh, two wins in a row as well now. So in a wee bit of form, so they're going the right direction, and it just brings uh, that puts Dobbo's Darlow Diamonds right in the, the proper dog fight. You know, from four and well, five. Especially Wait. the week before 49 years one as well. So that's some is that four teams on four and five? Three teams on yeah, uh, four and five. So. Three teams on four and five and one and five and four and two and six and three, you know. So it's uh, you know, the six and threes are looking over their shoulders, they're really looking for a win this week. But you've got to think between the sixth spot and even Grote down in ten spot. I mean Grote's not two out games. of that. It's, it's one a game from the playoffs. Game. It's a shame he lost this week, Grote, because uh, if he'd have won this week, he was right in the hunt, but he got a wee... He, he got, he got a, got a spank in. He did, he, got, he did lose, he got a spank no, he got, in. Yeah, but he got a sore one. He got, And it was by Michael too, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, he, and that was from nowhere too. It's my, Michael scores from absolutely nowhere, you know, from... Uh, well, they had... Well, yeah, he's got Alan Nixon. He was sitting at one Ryan and seven. Robinson. You know, sitting at one and seven and doing absolutely nothing. And then Tank boom, Gale. there you go. Tank, Tank Tank Gale, there you go. Yeah. There's a there, there's a there's a big reason. There's a lot of it. Oh so, yeah, and of it's course, still, it's a cracking win. But Grote had the Johnny Herbert effect again, you know, whereby done nothing. George Pickens done nothing. Mingo done nothing. His defense didn't do a whole lot, and his defense is Sauce Gardner and Miles Garrett. So you know they will have weeks. They just didn't this week, and of course he left Stroud on the bench. What 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 what? That's why you don't hold to them. And 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 Warren and Algier. Boop, boop, boop. So I, I mean, he, he's playing the Lancashire Bombers this week, bro. Uh, the Gorgatai uh, Vikings, and uh, it's an absolute must win now. So it really has to. And with all of those quarterback options, he's going to need to pick the. But he's too. Is he going to? Has he got the bollocks to put in Stroud over Herbert? Who's would, playing this week? He's playing. Uh, they are playing the Cincinnati Bengals, whereas Herbert's coming up against the Lions. I'd be starting Stroud. Well, yeah, because they're going to be playing catch up. You'd imagine, so yeah, you'd you'd think, you know, it's going to be. Uh, yeah, you would think so. So they're going to go to the air, and uh, he's well, depends in, on the weather. If the weather got, rubbish, you're going to play Herbert in Detroit. So. Well, yeah, because it's in a dome. That's for, that. That's fair. That, that's a fair fair comment. Well, he's but he's got Najee uh, Harris running through the bang, uh, the. Green so Bay Packers, yeah, so that's not going to be difficult. And Robinson running through the Cardinals, so yeah, it's, uh, he's got he, he's doing he, his backs have got very good have games. You, have you seen the crazy stat though? Since Deontay Johnson's been back on the field, Pickens has sort of like seven catches for like twenty-seven yards or some daft thing like that. They don't coexist. Is the problem that Pickens no. has got? They don't coexist. 
But uh, but they are fate, the Lancashire Bombers have got McCaffrey back, and you know it's, it's, they've got Stevenson. I get on a good matchup, so they're, they're running into a tough game. He'll need to get a kicker in there because a kicker could make a difference. But he does have an empty bench spot, which I'm sure will end up being kicker. Yeah. So yeah, big game for Grote there. Uh, South London Rebels are already there, so it's a huge, huge game for Dobbo's Dallo Diamonds at four and five running I've into got another, another show me the money derby. Well, in fact, a Kirkwall derby, Kirkwall an Orkney derby. derby, an Orkney derby in the Orkney Bowl. The yes, Kirkwall indeed. Cowboys again, the Kirkwall Raiders. That is, isn't it? Uh, a good game, like that much bigger game for the Cowboys than it is the Raiders. That's for sure. Because uh, at five and four, at five and four, well, the, the Cowboys need that one. Whereas at seven and two, Alan will, you know, he doesn't want to lose, but. Well, it's got a three-game win streak against a four-game win streak, so somebody's win streak is going to go out the window. Someone's streak, the streak has got to go, and uh, yeah, I mean, four four-game win streak from five and four, huge. Sure, that's uh, that that's how to get yourself into it from dead. So you've got to think of the London League to London Eagles if they win, and the South London Rebels beat the Dobo Darlings, which you think they should. The London yeah. Eagles could jump up to six spot. And it's it, it, absolutely, and it's so you know. If you win when those around you lose at this stage of the season, you're jumping exponentially. You know, if the if the Kirkwall Cowboys win this week, you could easily see the Wakefield Forty Nine. Oh, they're, they're playing against Blue Texans. Oh, Texans went well this week. You know, the if four and five all lose. And Depending. then the Cowboys are, you can pretty much stamp your passport, you're almost done. Well, going by the way it could go, depending on how many points the Kirkwell Cowboys score, and if the Raiders win, the Kirkwell, well, Dover Darlings, if they lose and the Cowboys lose, or the Eagles and the Wakefield both win, depending on how many points are scored, because there's not much between them and the London Eagles, both the Kirkwell Cowboys and the Darla Diamonds could be down at seven and eight. Yeah, and out the players, so it could be a double jump for playoff Cause, spots. Cause, and the Wakefield are playing the Texans, so you've got to imagine the Michael's not going to do what, that again. The Fullwood so. Patriots are at three and six. As we said it for Grote, I'll say it for them as well. They are not not out of it this week. They have major issues this week in that they've got Tua, they've got Swift, and they've got AJ Brown, and they've got Elliot as their kicker. So they do have some major issues this week, but if they can solve them, and get a win against the London Eagles, who have hearts missing but in bye week, they're not dead. You know, it's the three and sixes need to win now, but they're not out of it, not by a long shot. Oh boy! Especially well, in this division, they'll have Etienne in place of uh, Acres, but are they really going to go with Zach Wilson? Well, they are playing Las Vegas, but still, that's well, uh, that could. Make or break. <laughs> well, it's or you know, break it's, or break. It's, it's, it's a better position than the Fullwood Patriots are in at quarterback right now, unless well, Fields is back. I think I, I think they're hoping Fields is going to be back this week. But oh, are they? Sure. It's hard to. It's when you it's a Friday game, so maybe not. It might be too. Yeah, late. that's it's a Friday game. Yeah, so it's yeah, but it's, uh, it's a very tight week. division, and the the, the matchups this week are. Some of the matchups this week are huge, and there could be major moves being made to the point where, you know, there could be big gaps opening up between kind of fourth and and fifth type thing, you know, and then it's a it's a dog fight for the last couple of spots, and, and you or know, or it could be like yeah, it'll be possible, you know, so if the two, if the two us, teams in second place win, that'll help them a lot because it'll give them a couple of games because it means other teams have lost, but so I think it's going to be interesting. My heart wants to take the Gorgie Vikings against the Lanarkshire Bombers for game of the week just because uh, I'd, I'd love to see Grote get that win and keep himself in, in that hunt, you know. Lanarkshire Bombers are on a two-game losing streak, but um, you have to say it's a Kirkwall Derby. It is. It's the Orkney Derby and the Orkney Bowl. That's the Orkney the game Derby, the Orkney Derby and the Orkney Bowl, game of the week. Yes. So that was, that's us for the week. That was a, a nice round-up. I know, week, week nine is pretty nice. crazy. 